On today's Kids Corner, why is Granny scared to meet an old classmate? When Roberta and I were in high school together, well, my cronies and I used to make fun of her all the time, and we would do terribly mean things to her. And Roberta vowed revenge on me. It's the end of the school day at Terrarium Elementary, and that means it's time for the kids to get their quizzes back. For some, this is the last thing they want, but not for Liz. The closer Miss Waddle gets with his quiz, the more excited he gets. He can barely sit still, a fact that doesn't go unnoticed by Spike. Liz, what is wrong with you? I can't wait to get this test back. You can't be serious. Oh, yeah. I'm on this incredible scoring an A on quizzes run. Scoring an A on quizzes run? Yeah, my last five quizzes have been A's. Wow. Yeah. Spike, here's your quiz. C plus. Well, I'm getting better. Liz, here's yours. Thanks, Miss Waddle. Come on, A baby, don't let me down. Yes, yes, the streak goes on. Another one? I <laughs> read it and weep. That's awesome. Liz, you to lit. Who else in this class has gotten six straight A's on their quizzes? I'll tell you who, Lizzie boy. Me. Read it and weep. An A? That's right, C+. Plus. That makes six straight for me, too. All right, what's the scam, Skink? Scam? So you think only you can make A's, is that it? Just because I make A's, I have to be running a scam? Is that it? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I know who the smartest one in the class is, and it ain't oh, you. Come on, oh, is bite. that so? Yeah, that's so, and Liz will... Ruby smart. Oh, Spike. how? By continuing his A run, hey. he'll beat you claws down. Spike. You're on, Lacerda. No. See you with the next test. Oh, he'll be <laughs> there with bells on. Spike. What? What did you do that for? Do what? Commit me to making A's from now on. I don't want my grades to be part of some dumb contest. Why not? Because I can't guarantee that I'll get A's from now on. Sure you can. No, I can't. Look, Spike, nobody gets A's all the time. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Uh, You can do it. I know you can. Look, I'll help you out. I'll be your rooting section, your trainer, and your peer pressure group. You can beat Skink. I know you can. Spike's eyes were pleading. Liz knew that he shouldn't agree, but he started to feel like he owed it to Spike to keep getting good grades. And Liz didn't want to let his friend down. He sighed. (sighs) Okay, Spike. The contest is on! (laughs) While Liz and Spike were figuring out how to beat Skink in academics, Lucille was visiting Granny at her farm to help her with a very special project. Knock, knock, you home, Granny? I am, sweetie, out here in the kitchen. Still hard at work, I see. Oh, yes. I guess I didn't realize that coordinating my 40th high school reunion would be so much work. And speaking of which, I have more letters for you. Oh, They were stuffed in your mailbox. Oh, my. Well, I have just been so busy, I didn't even have a chance to check the mail. Uh, Just go ahead and set them down on the table, dear. (laughs) Oh, I am so excited about this reunion. You know, I moved right after graduation. Graduation, so I haven't seen most of my classmates in all these years. I'm looking forward to renewing old acquaintances and rekindling some old friendships. Well, judging from the letters I just brought in, it appears everyone is just as excited as you oh, are. Yes, they do, and they all seem to be coming. That reminds me, I want a list of all the names of your classmates who will be attending. I want to publish them in the paper. Oh, I was just working on that when you came in. Now you need to add all of these people, too. You don't want to forget them. Oh, don't worry. I won't forget them. Hmm. What's the matter, Lucille? This letter, it's kind of odd. Odd? What do you mean? It's from a Roberta Sunstone. Roberta? Yeah. She confirms that she's coming, and then she says she wants to talk to you about unfinished business. Let me see that. Are you all right? Your scales look kind of pale. Oh, I'm fine, dear. I'm just a little tired. All of this work, you know, catching up with me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get that list of names to you later on in the week, okay? Mm-hmm. Right now, I think I just need a little nap. I can stick around if you need me. Uh, no, that won't be necessary, honey. 
I'll see you later, all right? Okay, Granny, see you later. Roberta Sunstone. Oh, my. A few days passed, and it was time for another quiz. This time, as Miss Waddle handed back the papers, Liz wasn't excited. He was downright nervous, especially when Miss Waddle gave Skink his test paper. A minus, Skink. Good work. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Waddle. It's all in the breeding. <laughs> Did you hear that, Liz? Skink got an A minus. You got him licked. Oh, I hope so, Spike. Spike, B minus. You're showing improvement. <gasps> Very good. <laughs> wow! Go, Spike. Thanks, Miss Waddle. Don't thank me. You did the work. <laughs> and Liz, yes, man. A minus. A minus. A minus. Uh huh. Congratulations. Oh, hey, you and Skink are still neck and neck. Oh well, yeah, but. There's a chink in my armor, Spike. I mean, A minus is not the same thing as a regular A. I told you I couldn't keep this up. You just need to get back on the regular A path. That's all. Yeah, yeah, the regular A path. More study. That's the ticket. I need more study. There you go. I have faith in you, Liz. You can do it. You the Liz. Yeah. So Liz studied harder for the next quiz two days later. And sure enough, it worked. Liz and A. Oh. Very good. Oh, phew. Thanks, Miss Waddle. <laughs> you did it. I knew you would. Back on the regular A pack. Well, yeah, but do you know how much studying I had to do to get here? This is a lot of work. Skink and A. What? Nice going. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Lacerda, still neck and neck. <laughs> I wish someone would bite his neck. Well, that's what makes this worse, Spike. I mean, I'm working my tail off to get these grades, but it doesn't seem like Skink is studying at all. <laughs> Yesterday, when I was going home to hit the books, yeah. I saw him out in the park hitting a ball. I know. It doesn't even seem like Skink works very hard on the tests. What do you mean? I was watching him. He just sits and stares out the window for a few seconds then writes down his answers. No strain, no sweat, cool as a cucumber. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he does have superior breeding. Breeding, schmeeding. The only thing superior about him is his ability to be annoying. Yeah. Believe me, you're the top lizard. Oh, if that's true, it sure is hard staying at the top. Okay, everyone, listen up. Overall, I'm very pleased at the progress you're all making. There are several higher scores this quiz, although some of you still need to put in more study time, especially in light of our next quiz, which will be on fractions. Oh, no. Now, I can tell you that it will be harder than all of the other quizzes we've had so far. What? You should have no problem if you've been doing the homework. Just make sure you study. See you tomorrow, everyone. Oh, great. Fractions? I'm terrible at fractions. No, no, I don't want to hear that kind of negative thinking. You'll be great. Spike. I'll make sure of it. How? I'm going to help you study. Spike, you're worse at fractions than I am. Yeah, but I can read. The answers are in the back of the book, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are the greatest, Liz. <laughs> Little old fraction can't stop you. <laughs> Thanks, Spike. Okay, then. Let's get to it. That afternoon, Lucille was at the newspaper office working on a story when she heard a soft knock on her door. Uh, Lucille? Oh, hi, Granny. Come on in. Well, I don't want to disturb you. Oh, you're not. In fact, I was just going to call you. Oh. I was wondering if you have the revised list of names for the folks attending the reunion. Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I do, and that's why I'm here. Great. Here I'll, you go. I'll get it in the computer, and it'll be in tomorrow's edition. Oh, that'll be fine, honey. Bye-bye. You know, I, I've talked my editor into letting me cover the reunion for the paper, oh. so it looks like I'll be there with the rest of you. Lucille, something wrong? Yeah, I think so. This list isn't complete. Uh oh You forgot a name, Granny. The hmm. most important one, too. Yours! Well, I didn't forget, Lucille. Well, yes, you did. It's not on here. Well, I know. I have decided that I am not going to go to the reunion. What? But, uh, Granny, Good day, I... dear. Granny, wait, wait! Oh, boy. 
The next few days were spent in study mode for Liz and Spike preparing for the big fractions quiz. But instead of waiting around for the results of the quiz this time, Liz left class immediately, not even bothering to look at his paper. He was barreling along down the street when Spike called to him. Liz! I can't believe it. Hey, Liz! I can't Liz, wait up! It. What's the rush? Listen, Spike, I'd really prefer to be alone right now. <laughs> the smartest one in class and modest, too. You the Liz. I'm not the smartest one in class, Spike. I've got a fractions quiz here that begs to differ. Look at that. Hey! Yeah, I saw it. I can't believe you left this behind. You did it. Congratulations. You're still the best. I mean, okay, Skink also got an A, but yeah. you're still the best in my book. Actually, Spike, Skink is better. <laughs> no way. You're going to win out in the end, believe me. No. Yes, there is no way Skink can keep up this pace. Skink has already won. What? How can you say Skink already won? He won because I cheated, all right? You cheated? Yes, I did. Even after all that studying we did, I still couldn't remember any of the formulas for fractions. So I I wrote them down in crib notes and little pieces of paper that I hid in my pocket and I used them on the quiz. That's how I knew all the answers. That's how I got an A. Liz, everyone does it at some time or another. It's no big deal. It is a big deal, Spike. I've never done it before. Never? No. I feel awful about it. It's like I got something, a grade I don't deserve. Oh, come on. That's not true. Of course you deserve it. How do you figure that? Because you earned it. You studied hard for the test, right? You knew the answers. You just needed a little boost to help you over the hump, that's all. As far as I'm concerned, you're still numero uno. Oh, thanks, Spike. Hey, listen, I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see ya. I sure don't feel like numero uno. While this was going on, Lucille was walking up Granny Gecko's front walk. Granny sat in a rocking chair on the porch, waiting for her. Granny? Lucille? Nice weather we're having. Hmm, it's tolerable. So you want to tell me what's going on? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. When Roberta and I were in high school together, I was the center of the in-crowd while Roberta was the unpopular kid. Well, my cronies and I used to make fun of her all the time, and we would do terribly mean things to her. Why? Oh, who knows why anybody does that sort of thing. I mean, people just rub you the wrong way sometimes, I guess. Oh, but for some reason, I just took particular delight in tormenting her. Whoa. Well, anyway, as high school graduation got closer... I stepped up my teasing and abuse and finally came up with a master plan to really make Roberta feel bad. What was it? I set up an exam to make it look like Roberta was cheating. Granny! I know. I know. Oh, I, I meant it as a joke. But the principal took it far more seriously. And Roberta was kicked out of school on the spot in the middle of the morning. Oh, no! Yeah, she left in tears and went home, and I felt awful about it. I really did. But I never spoke up because I'd get in trouble, too. Well, I got word later that Roberta found out about the plot and vowed revenge on me. Why didn't you try to smooth things over? Oh, I wanted to, but I never got the chance. My folks and I moved almost immediately after graduation. Oh. So learning that Roberta is coming to the reunion has awakened a load of guilt in me. I don't think I can face her. But you know, Granny, you and Grandpa and Ollie are always telling me and Liz and the other kids that when we do something wrong, we need to make it right. Oh, I know that, Lucille. Believe me, I know. But I could literally be responsible for ruining Roberta's life. How can I face her after something like that? Especially after all these years? I simply cannot do it. Granny. I'm sorry, Lucille, but the answer is no. I won't be attending that reunion, and that's, that's all there is to say. You better go now. I guess God holds older folks to a different standard than he holds younger folks after all. See you around, Granny.
That night, Liz tossed and turned in bed in the middle of one of the worst nightmares he had ever had. This is Walter Concrete with a special news report. The fate of the world hangs in the balance between a bright future and total annihilation. There is only one lizard that can save us, Lizarardo Quintus Lacerta. World leaders are crying out for the brilliant lizard. Liz, oh Liz, we need you. Help us, please. Fear not, fellow citizens of the world. Of course I shall help. Again. What is it now? We have very little time, Liz. A supercomputer has taken over the world's weapons arsenal and is on the verge of launching all of the weapons. And you want me to go and destroy the computer? No. This time, we need your brain power. Oh, I have plenty to spare. Please have a seat. All right. For four years, computer terminal. When I turn it on, a single question will appear on the screen. You, Lizarardo Quintus Lacerta, must answer the question correctly, or the computer will launch the weapons. Oh, no problem. Turn on the terminal. Let's just see what kind of question this computer can come up with. Uh, uh-oh. What is it? It's, um... It's a fraction problem. Well, answer it quickly. I can't. I don't know the answer. You are our last hope. You must know. Well, uh, after all, your grade transcripts say that you got an A on your fractions quiz. Oh, no. Missiles will launch, Missiles will launch in 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17. Liz, you must answer the question. I can't. 15, 14, no. 13. Oh, but why? Liz, why can't you answer it? Because because I cheated on that quiz. I don't know the answer, and I don't know how to figure out the answer. Ten, nine, eight. Uh, try, Liz, please, try. I don't even know where to start. Five, five four, no. three, no. two, one. No. Missiles launched. No. The world was lost because you cheated at fractions. No, no. When the history of the world is written, if it is ever written, it will say, died of a sheet. No! Oh, wait, huh? Huh? Oh, oh it's, it's just a dream. A really, really scary dream. Oh, I have to make this right. I know what I have to do. The next morning, Liz marched into the classroom and told Miss Waddle everything that had happened on the Fractions Quiz, including his cheating. After he had finished, Miss Waddle sighed. Well, Liz, obviously I'm very disappointed in you. Yes, ma'am. This is a very serious breach of the rules, and it carries a stiff penalty. It was only the one test, Miss Waddle. Honest. I want to believe you, Liz, but you understand how difficult it is for me now. Yes, ma'am. See, that's what cheating does. It destroys trust. That's one reason why it is so bad. But the main reason is that it makes God unhappy. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Waddle. I know you are, but I'm still going to have to fail you for this test, and I'll have to report this to the principal who'll tell your parents. I understand. While they were talking, Skink and Spike came in and overheard nearly the whole conversation. Skink was overjoyed. <laughs> That's it, then. Looks like I'm the champ after all, Asserta. I have evidence that the reason you did so well on all those quizzes was that you were cheating as well. <gasps> What? By looking at Liz's tests. Uh, oh, well, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I mean, how could I have seen Liz's papers from where I sat? Huh? I was confused about that, too, until I sat in your chair. Your seat is situated so that when the window is open a certain way, you can clearly see Liz's desktop and everything on it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, she's right. You can see everything from here. Uh, but, but, uh... Wow. Oh, no! <laughs> yes, yes, you did it, Liz. You All won the right. eight quiz oh. trick contest. Well, not exactly. What? But Liz only cheated on the one quiz. Yeah. He, he still had a legit streak of seven A quizzes in a row. That may be true, Spike, but that's hardly a record. Oh, come on. Cammy has a string of unbroken A's going back to the first grade. What? what? I don't think anyone will ever catch her. First grade? But I hope you'll keep trying, Liz. Just try honestly from now on. I will, Miss Waddle. You can count on it. 
The reunion took place a few nights later. Lucille was there covering the story for the newspaper and volunteering, handing out name tags and such in Granny's absence. Everyone who RSVP'd was there, including Roberta Sunstone. Soon, there was only one name tag left on the table. Cynthia Gacko. Granny. Are you going to hold that all night or are you going to let me put it on? Granny? Uh, no, here. Well, thank you. And no, Lucille, God does not hold older folks to a different standard than he holds younger folks. Thank you for reminding me of that, too. Cynthia, Roberta. Time to face the music. Cynthia Gecko, just the one I wanted to see. I've been waiting 40 years for this. Oh, go ahead, Roberta. I deserve it. Say what you have to say. Suddenly, Roberta lunged forward and drew Granny to her in a tight hug. Oh, Roberta, I am so, so sorry. Please, forgive me for treating you so badly and keeping you from graduating. <laughs> well, actually, I did graduate, and I got my diploma a few weeks later. And I also forgave you 40 years ago. <laughs> I just never got the chance to tell you. Well... We obviously have a lot of catching up to do. Oh, yes. And I'm so pleased that you came. It took a lot of courage. Yeah. I just needed to be reminded that there is no age limit on doing what is right. Thanks, Granny. Well, go catch up, you two. This is your reunion. Well, I think Liz learned an important lesson today. Cheating causes all kinds of problems. When we cheat, we may think that we've gotten away with something, but in the end, it's really only a matter of time before our lies catch up with us. None of us is perfect, and sometimes we will sin and disappoint God. But when we do, we remember that God loves us and is always ready to forgive us when we tell Him that we are sorry. God's goodness is greater than any sin.